Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. So in this video, I am going to explain you what is the new update in A plagiarism check in Turnitin. So Turnitin uh, offers some exemptions in A plagiarism check. So if you are uh, A uh, content is uh, less than 20 percentage, so you are plagi you are A plagiarism free. And also it is having different options uh, in plagiarism check. Uh, uh, it is categorized uh, that is A and after you have paraphrased with A tool that also showing as a A percentage. So let us go on to today's video and check with some reports how uh, this uh, a turn it in uh, that is uh, turn it in check by a will generate a plagiarism report for us what are the exemptions it is giving so let us go on to today's video so before that an important announcement from our channel is that so we are offering internship program so the internship program on MATLAB fundamentals for electrical engineering so if you are interested to know about MATLAB fundamentals so do subscribe for this internship program so and get to know more about MATLAB another internship program is about uh, enhance your research writing with best AA tools so in this internship program so you may know about what are the different and best AA tools available in market for especially academic and research paper writing so if you are interested in subscribe for this internship program and make use of AA tools for your uh, academic writing and make your academic writing and research paper writing simple using this a tools so thank you so moving on to our today's video uh, the a plagiarism is one of the biggest problem faced by our fellow researchers so here uh, so i have taken some three different kinds of reports for a plagiarism from by turn it in so i will showcase you one by one so you will get an idea so this is the first report so here you can see that percentage detected as a so a direction includes uh, so here you can see that a direction includes the possibility of false positives although some text in this submission is likely a generated scores below 20 percentage threshold are not surfaced because they have a higher likelihood of false positives so this is how uh, the report will be when your uh, plagiarism percentage is below 20 percentage that is less than 20 percentage the percentage there is uh, no percentage of a uh, that, that is content is detected as a generated so and also here you can see a disclaimer is also given here so our a writing assessment is designed to help educators identify text that might be prepared by a generative AA tool our a writing assessment may always uh, may not always be accurate so please make a note of it it may not be accurate so it may misidentify writing uh, that is likely a generated or a generated and a paraphrased or likely a generated and a paraphrased writing as only a generated so it should not use it as the sole basis for adverse action against a student so it take further scrutiny and human judgment in conjunction so with an organization application of its specific academic policies to determine whether any academic misconduct has occurred so this is how they have given a disclaimer here so it by a sole basis of the report you cannot take any actions against any students or research scholars so that is the important thing so the important thing is that so if you are uh, percentage is less than uh, that is 20 so your uh, report is plagiarism free and you can uh, get a uh, that is you can um, avoid that a generated uh, content in your research paper so this is how the first case will be so the second case is that so i am going to open another report here so here i am going to open this report so before that i will open this report so here you can see that 35 percentage uh, directed as a so here you can see so hope you can get a clearer view so 35 percentage is directed as a the percentage indicates that combined amount of likely a generated text as well as likely a generated text that uh, that was also like likely a paraphrase there are two direction groups are categorized so here you can see that the first group is a generated only 35 percentage so likely a generated text from a large language model so this is the first option so the second option will be a generated text that was a paraphrased so that is zero percentage actually this content i have taken uh, from a only so it is showcase i have not paraphrased anything 
so just it is showing that uh, it is a generated content only 35 percentage that's it so i have not paraphrased any of the uh, content in this particular document so it is showing that so a generated text that is a paraphrased is zero percentage it is detecting correctly that it is not paraphrased so the next important thing is that so it is actually i have generated all the content from a only but it is showing only 35 percentage so see the difference how it is uh, i don't know so because i have generated all the content from chat gpt only but it's showing only 35 percentage this is the second case so next one is third case so in this third case so the document i have shown before i have paraphrased with a paraphrasing tool so i don't want to tell about that paraphrasing tool so i have paraphrased using that paraphrasing tool uh, so in this paraphrasing tool so after paraphrased again i have checked the same content so hope you can see internet of things so again hope you can see that so this is also internet of things based applications so again i have checked for a so it is showing that it is 90 percentage directed as a so here you can see the difference so without paraphrasing it is showing that it is only 35 percentage so after paraphrase it is showing that it is 90 percentage directed as a so here you can see that the next option that is a generated text that was a paraphrased is 15 percentage so likely a generated text that was likely revised using any a paraphrasing tool so if you are using any paraphrasing tool or a spinner that is word spinner so it is uh, that is uh, finding that that content has been paraphrased using so some a paraphrased tools so like that only uh, it is detecting the content so these are the three different categories a new update in a direction so first update first one is that so if it is your content is less than um, that is 20 percentage so there is no a direction in your document so second case is that so only a direction so without paraphrasing so you will get a direction so after paraphrasing so you will get a direction as well as a direction a generated text that is a paraphrased so this is how uh, the three categories of the report is generating now so you can go on and check with turn it in for your report so don't bother about uh, when whenever you are generating content from any of the a tool don't bother so or before checking don't paraphrase so because this is a new option included so just to check as it is uh, you have taken from a surely it will show a less percentage only so go on and explore uh, your content with the turn it in uh, for a check and uh, make use of this option so hope this video will bring an hour about uh, the new update in this a plagiarism check uh, in turn it in so thank you for watching this video have a nice day thank you